Hello, Princess, and welcome, members of the court. It is, well, it's cruise day again. I thought I would do something a little bit different. We're also trying something different here. Either way, some of you might be interested. For some of you, this might be old hack. But I thought I would do an incredibly, excruciatingly detailed, uh, well, experience on how to board a cruise ship. So let's get started here at the, at the curb. And members of the court, this is the brand new MSC Seascape. Presumably, once you figure out how to get to the port, well, this is what happens. I got dropped off by a lift, and uh, here is my luggage. It is tagged and ready to go. Oh, darn, now you all know where I was. Well, anyway, uh, here at MSC, they have, and they did this before, added special tags. I'm using these. They're just little plastic, you know, things you get on Amazon. Order two packs. They are not exactly the most sturdy thing, but... Uh, none has broken on me yet. I don't have a printer, that's why I just wrote it there. But, you know, they, they added the extra tag, so no worries. What you're going to do is uh, you're going to hand your luggage, at least here in Miami, over to a porter who will stack it up and make sure it gets onto the ship. Pretty much all you have to do. And, uh, well, let's uh, actually, let's do it. Okay. Ah. All right. Hand it over and off it goes. We'll talk about this in a second and uh, why I'm not carrying much with me. A little bit different from the airport, a lot less to worry about. All I have with me is my castaway key bag with the uh, important stuff, passport, extra cameras, and things like that. I know a lot of people say, you know, take a carry-on with all the important stuff, but here I don't really worry about that too much because unlike an airport where your bag goes through probably a hundred different switches to get to the aircraft here that's it it literally goes from right there on there and this goes right onto the ship there's no switching so if it gets lost it's gonna get lost on the ship or i, I think if you're a carnival they might let it fall into the water but we're not gonna think about that the next major thing to figure out i'm sorry if there's a lot of wind noise but uh, like i said we're doing something different is how to get into the terminal here at terminal c you can enter through door c or door C east. Wait, I guess that would be door C west or door C east. Yeah, you can tell I don't really plan these things out. Okay, this right here with the little tents, uh, this is for the yacht club, not this time. And over here is uh, for all us normies. However, when I was here a year ago for MSC Seascape, the, yeah, they told me to go there, but uh, I just sort of uh, walked in this door and it was okay. I'm gonna try it again. I don't know, maybe status does have privilege. Didn't expect this. Here it says decks 12 to 19. Well, before we walk in the door, I have been paperless cruising for quite a while. I do not have a printed boarding pass or anything like that, but regardless of how you try to do this with or without a boarding pass, uh, you will need this, your passport. And today I am using a United States passport. Yeah, United States passport. And that's usually all you need because they can just look you up. Royal does the best job of this. You can just scan you in the app and, and you're good to go. But uh, I don't know. Last year, this didn't go so well. Sea East is a bust. Somebody decided to follow the rules today. Which is fine. It's just fine. Uh, so I'm just headed over to Sea West, uh, which is where us lower deck types are relegated to. But that's okay. I actually chose this location for a very, very specific reason. And I'm actually kind of excited to uh, see what it's like. While we're heading over to Sea West, let me just let you know how this works. You do not need a paper boarding pass. They prefer it, but since I don't have a printer, I can't print one. Uh, MSC has a manifest at both entrances. They can look you up on. You just show them uh, your passport or ID. They verify you on the list and then you're good to go. You actually don't need it when you get to the counter because they find you by your name or a passport or or whatever. So having a printed boarding pass, not absolutely required. You just have to ask to be checked on the list, which is what I did, which is how I was discovered trying to sneak into the wrong door. <sighs> Five to 11. Wait, 11? 12, oh, 12 to 15. Next up is security. Don't worry, it's, uh, it's pretty easy. It's kind of like TSA, except these people know what they're actually doing. So don't worry about it. You just put your bag through a belt scanner and you walk through a mag. That's pretty much it. If you are bringing uh, alcohol with you, different cruise lines have different rules. You gotta bring it through here. Check beforehand. I am not, I have a package. So it's just me and my little castaway key bag and I should breeze right through. 
Uh, the guy with the manifest is not here, he's on the inside, but you can still ask for it. Just remember, ask for the list if you don't have a boarding pass. Made it through the detector, no problem. Just remember, always keep your passport on you in your pocket, it won't set anything off. And uh, I forgot that I was wearing a hat. They will ask you to uh, tip your hat just to make sure that I guess, you're not, I don't know, smuggling any yellow cake under it or something like that. Okay, uh, I'm a little confused. This is an MSC cruise, but there's no line. I, I'm not sure how to process this. Got real lucky with no line. So the next step, you're gonna come to the counter and speak to the yes. lovely check-in agency. Agency. Agent where they are going to check your passport, take your picture, again, hat off for that. And then here at MSC, they go and retrieve your key. They are already pre-prepared. Card in hand, it is through the magical tunnel where you will see the two ship signs, these are all over the place and they say the same thing everywhere. I'm very happy to say that that was shockingly easy from the no line to the quick check-in process. MSC has absolutely got it together last year. I'm sure you all have watched that video several times. If not, go and go and watch it. Uh, the whole check-in process was like a two hour ordeal. This, um, yeah, this was, I don't know. This was shockingly, this was better than boarding Carnival Celebration, I have to tell you that. So, MSC, uh, you're, oh boy, your stock is going up. Next step is to get on the ship. Okay, it's easier than it sounds. After riding the escalator up to boarding level, fortunately, there is, I guess, no wait. We are ready to go. There's people embarking already. If I got here any earlier, this is where we would be waiting, as I did for Norwegian Prima, but I got there extra, extra early. I think I'm pretty much right on time. And, uh, oh, you know what you're gonna find? Pictures. Let's stop and take one. Picture taken, and MSC had these out. They're just little welcome aboard pamphlets, brochures. I was hoping this would be the full schedule, but it's just basic information about the ship. Well, that's, that's okay. Keep your card out, but not your passport. You might have to show it, and I think I will have to tap into the ship. There she is, the uh, brand new MSC Seascape. At this point, the easiest thing to do is just follow the crowd. Everyone's gotta be going someplace important, which is all I'm doing right now. There will be more two ship signs, but I think we're gonna have to head over here to the actual gangway, and then it's like a switchback. Then we're finally, finally aboard. I'm so excited. And here we are at the actual gangway. Yeah, sometimes following the crowd will get you exactly where you want to go. And ah, these are nice, they're glass, so they do provide a, a wonderful view of the terminal building. Well, no one really cares about that. Up ahead, we're gonna have a great view of the ship. And there she is, beautiful new MSC Seascape. The gangways, at least here in the terminals, are fully air conditioned. It is a relatively cool day here in Miami, so it is quite brisk here. Can't wait to get on the ship, but it's a, uh, wow, this is kind of a, a long walk. Finally, the moment I've waited, I guess a year for, welcome aboard MSC Seascape. Final step is to tap onto the ship. They're just gonna need to see your card. They tap it, verify that the picture is the same, and you're good to go. That's it. We are aboard MSC Seascape. So let's uh, let's stop and talk about this. And we're aboard. I'm actually a little bit bummed that there wasn't some complication so I could maybe explain what was going on and how to work through it. But wow, that was, I think, the smoothest embarkation process I have ever been through. I dropped the bags off, I went in. I did have to get my name checked on the list because I didn't have a boarding pass, so that's totally on me. There was no lines. I was with the agent maybe two minutes and the longest event there was when she had to walk back to get my card. That was it. All they did, scan my passport, took my picture, and I was on my way. It beats Royal, even with their app, because there's far fewer gates you have to go through. And there's Carnival Spirit. I think she's going to Mobile next year. Well, that ends our boarding adventure here aboard MSC Seascape. I, well, like I said, I wish there was more complication, so there was more to show you, but that was amazing. But that's basically how you board a cruise ship. Just check the bags, walk in the terminal, check in, and board the ship. They've done a lot to make this a very smooth and easy process over the last few years. I remember not even five or six years ago, uh, it was just really, really complicated. Now, yeah, if it's going to be this easy, well, hey, I think uh, the industry is 
we're past the comeback. They are back from uh, the nonsense. Oh, you know what? In today's vlog, we'll talk about something that happened today. It's awesome. I wish I could use my normal outro, but I can't. That went absolutely perfectly. So I guess my lack of my lack of content is a problem that I am so, so very thankful for. Oh.